Okay, for question number 20, we are going to graph y is equal to log base 3 of x plus 1. And because we can only have log of a positive number, so the first thing that we need to do is to make sure the inside turns out to be positive. Okay, so we need to make sure, so let me write this down, make sure we need to have the inside of the log turns out to be positive, so bigger than 0. And in this case, the inside is this, x plus 1. So I will need to look at x plus 1. I need to make that equals, uh, bigger than 0. I need to make sure x plus 1 is bigger than 0. And I can subtract 1 on both sides. In other words, I will get x is greater than negative 1. So when, we're, um, when, we're, when we create a table, we need to make sure that we just choose the numbers that's bigger than negative 1, okay? So, to grab this, I will do a table first. Okay, I will do a table first. I have the x values. y is equal to log base 3 of x plus 1. x plus 1, okay? And in fact, I'm actually going to plug in negative 1 into the x. I will show you what would that be. So if x is equal to negative 1, I will get y is equal to log base 3. And plugging negative 1 into x, I get negative 1 plus 1. Well, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so I will get log base 3 of 0. And this turns out to be, we will have a vertical asymptote. When you have log of um, some base is um, of 0, when you have a 0 instead of a log, that's a case that you will have a vertical asymptote. So we will have a vertical asymptote when x is equal to negative 1. Okay? And next, I'm going to choose um, some other values for x, and then I will create a table with um, probably 3 or 4 points, and then I can make a nice graph. Okay? So, um, let's see. Let me put down some notes right here. Put down some notes right here. Because we are dealing with log base 3, so let's write down some of these 3 to the powers. So let's look at 3 to the 0 power. Well, that's equal to 1. 3 to the first power, that's equal to 3. 3 to the third, uh, second power, that's equal to 9. 3 to the third power, that's equal to 27. Okay? Again, because we are dealing with log base 3, so that's why I write down 3 to some powers. So let me just kind of uh, put this on the side. Okay, so for the next number, what we need to do is um, let's choose x to be 0. Okay, choose x to be 0. So let's see what do we have. y equals to, I will have log base 3. Now the x is equal to 0. So 0 plus 1 inside of the log. And I will get log base 3. 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay? And to figure out what's log base 3 of 1 is equal to, uh, we need to ask ourselves, 3 to the what power is equal to 1? As we can see that, 3 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Therefore, this is equal to 0. Okay? So we will have a point, x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. So let me draw this down right here. Here are going to be my points. The first one is 0, comma, 0. Okay. So next one, let's see which number should we choose for x. What number should we choose for x? And in fact, we are going to use these numbers right here to help us out. Because I want to have um, whole numbers. I don't want to deal with, um, I don't want to be dealing with decimal numbers. So, I want to just use these numbers, okay? But I'm not going to plug in these numbers um, into the x. Because right here, the inside, we have x plus 1. Okay? So, I want to ask myself, x plus 1, um, I want to make sure that x plus 1 produce 3. So, in that case, you have to ask yourself, what plus 1 is equal to 3? Then, I know I need to choose 2. Because if x is equal to 2, 
then we will get y is equal to log base 3 of 2 plus 1. And 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So we have log base 3 of the 3 in that parentheses. And to figure this out, 3 to the what power is equal to 3? Well, 3 to the first power is equal to 3. So the answer is 1. We're looking for the exponents. 3 to the first power is equal to 3. Okay? So I have my second point. x value equal to 0. The y value equals to 1. Let's do the next one. Let's do another point. So I need to ask myself, what number should I, um, should I choose for x? But I will need to ask myself, um, what plus 1 will produce 9? Right? Because for that, I can create a whole number uh, y value. Well, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9, so I'm going to pick x is equal to 8. And I will get y equals to log base 3. The x value is 8, a plus 1, inside of the parentheses, and a plus 1 is 9, right, in the parentheses. So here we have log base 3 of 9. Well, 3 to the what power is equal to 9? 3 to the second power, just like right here, 3 to the second power is equal to 9. So I have my third point. x value is equal to 8. The y value equals to 2. Okay. And let's do one more. Well, in order for us to produce whole numbers values for, for y, I need to somehow produce 27 inside of the parentheses. So, what plus 1 is equal to 27? 26 plus 1 is equal to 27. So I'll pick 26. And I will get y is equal to log base 3. 26 plus 1. That produces log base 3 of 27. Okay. Then 3 to the what power is equal to 27? 3 to the third power. Again, we're looking for the exponents. 3 to the third power is equal to 27. So I have 26, comma, 3. Okay, so I think this will be enough. This are enough uh, information for us to graph the log function. Okay. So let's do the graph right here. So my y-axis, my x-axis. Okay. So the first thing that we should do is um, we should label the x is equal to negative 1 and we will have a vertical asset over there. So let's say negative 1 is right here for the x. Then the vertical asymptote is just a vertical dashed line. Okay. And then let's um, locate all these points. So first, I will have 0, 0. Let's say it's right here. And then the second point I have um, 2 comma 1. So let's say 2 is right here. And let's say 1 is right here. So I have a second point right here. And the third point, I have 8 comma 2. So I don't have to draw all the little lines. I can just kind of estimate. Let's say 8 is right here. And the y value is being 2. So let's say it's somewhere above right there. 8 comma 2 for this um, third point. And then for 26, um, it's going to be somewhere really far away, right? So let me just kind of do it like right here. 26, so, so 26. And the y value is equal to 3. So I will get something like right there. Okay. So as you can see that um, this four points is going to form a curve along with the vertical acetal. When you grab these equations, uh, make sure that you kind of just connect these points. Just kind of draw it. Uh, I'll draw it from this way. And it does not just stop right there. Oops. Let me just kind of make sure that my curve contain all the points. So make the points bigger. The graph does not just stop right here. The purpose of the, whole, um, the vertical asymptote is you want to continue this part right here. And then you want to go really close to the acetal, but not touching or 
uh, not go over the acetone. Okay, so the whole graph it's going to look like from here, and it's going to look like. Oops, it's supposed to be just one graph. It's supposed to just be from here. that so there we go this is the graph of a log function okay this is the graph of a log um, why it's equal to log base 3 of x plus 1 and that's it that's it